I'm Robert Woodward and I'm a research scientist with Toshiba Research Cambridge and also with the University of York's Quantum Communications Hub. So we're using quantum physics to build new communication systems which let two users who we'll call Alice and Bob and we want to let these two users share a password which is generated by quantum security. So in other words if they send information from Alice to Bob only the two parties will know what's been sent and there's no way by the laws of physics that anyone else can hack this information or read their message. To explain how this works, um, what we're doing is we're looking at correlations between uh, colours of light. So we take Alice and we give her a laser and she can send either red or blue light. Uh, and we also give Bob another laser and he too can send red or blue light. And what they do is they choose a colour and they send their light to a computer in the middle which measures it. Now, if they send the same colour light, the computer uh, mixes the two colours and it sees this. So let's just say they both send red light. The computer sees red light, but that's not secure because the computer knows that both Alice and Bob sent red. If, when they're choosing their colours randomly, Alice and Bob choose different colours, so let's just say Alice sends red, Bob sends blue, now, when the computer mixes the light and tries to measure it, it measures purple light. So it can see that the colours have been different, but it doesn't know, because of the principle of quantum entanglement and quantum interference, it doesn't know who sent the red and who sent the blue. It only knows that they were different. So the final step is the computer then tells Alice and Bob uh, that it's measured different colours of light. So if I was Alice and I sent red, therefore I know that it measured different colours, so therefore Bob must have sent blue. So therefore, even though no one else in the world knows what colours we sent, um, they know that they were different, but that doesn't really give you any information. Uh, only myself and Bob uh, know what colours we sent, and therefore we've generated a perfectly secure password that we can use for sending messages. So our ultimate aim in quantum communication research is to build a quantum internet. So that would look very similar to the internet we have today, but it would be encrypted, that is protected by the laws of physics. So it just couldn't be hacked at all. So at the moment, we're at the stage where two computers or two users can talk to each other, but our work's working to extend that. So we're going to build quantum networks, so small-scale uh, communication between multiple people. And then in the long term, the vision is, like I said, a quantum internet.